All right, part of this tour was our kitchen, our downright gorgeous and green kitchen. And Gene McDonald from Refresh Interiors was here. He fabricated our countertops. Gene, well, I wasn't in the house. I was doing the tour on the outside. How was our response to our, our uh, sustainable kitchen? Usually they look at it and they're afraid of it to ask questions. Yeah. Overwhelming questions, concerns, durability, the beauty, how the kitchen looked wow. Because I know when people were pulling up to this kitchen, I guarantee they thought a green kitchen was going to be like a burlap sack on top of a cabinet. So what I like about this house is we smash that misconception that green is boring, bland, and kind of makes you yawn. Not this kitchen. So that's what the people are like, wow, and they, they took a lot of my cards and I need this work like a hole in the head, but <laughs> I'll, I'll take it because it came from here. And I, no matter what, I always want to be a part of this. I, I just like the team on this house um, and you guys. Of course, I fell in like with you, but... Uh, you just want my horse. You want to go horseback riding. You did well on pony. I you do. Did. Now that I know how to ride a horse, I, you know, the ego in me thinks I'm better than you already. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> well, you know, the Orlando Sentinel's article, I'm not sure if you saw it. Uh, I, I read it on Facebook. And I love the fact, in the sense that they said, hey, you Heineken lovers, hey, you folks in the Ale House Ambers. I mean, I think it, the countertop, the kitchen, really, I think my goal was to show people, you might not buy my product. You might not get me. You might not buy the trousers or that particular countertop. But the fact of the matter is, is I think it helps people know that instead of just tossing that beer bottle or that ale bottle or that soda bottle or that aluminum can, the fact of the matter is, those things don't go away. They go into a landfill, and I think that kitchen really gives people an inspiration. The fact that it is important to recycle. It's a good thing. That's what I liked, and we helped what you did. We helped the designers, all the designers, builders, and everyone that's here getting the CEU credits. They now know what to say. Uh, the demolition glass, a story in every surface. I was listening to them how they're gonna, cause they all got clients. Yeah. And the problem is most people go, oh, it's recycled. Why does it cost so much? Think of this, we're providing jobs. The curbside recycling, yeah. the grinding of the glass, the sanitizing, the preparation. And then really I always tell people, cheap is really expensive in the long run. Because even if you put today's top popular material yep. and you could wear a gas mask around it, you'll bite the bullet. Just think about the long term, five years from now. Will it be in style or are you going to have to change it out again? If you're going to remodel your house, let's think like that. Right. And have a house that's beautiful, not just today, but five years from now. Will it still be in style as well as healthy? Let's well, think you, about healthy. And we did coconut palm, we did bamboo, we did the vitrazzo. But if you want to learn more of the awesome products that materials that green artist Gene is working with, check out refreshinteriors.com. Correct. Refreshinteriorsinc.com. You can also find me on Facebook under Gene McDonald. I love life like crazy. My customers usually are my friends. I think there was one who wants me to come back and I just don't have the time to go back. So she's a little mad, but I'll be there soon. All right. Well, listen. We're and gonna she's go my favorite customer. Uh, and we're going to go attack. Dr. Anna Marie. And we're going to attack up a horse now. Let's go hit the Ocala National Forest. Ciao. Bye. Yeehaw. Woohoo. Kitchen cowboy. <laughs>